Admiral Lee Sun-shin's turtle ship, also known as Kobuk-son, played a decisive role in defeating Japanese naval forces during Japan's invasion of Korea in the late 16th century. The warship has remained somewhat mysterious since there are not many records left to describe its features and operations in detail, but a recently found picture of a turtle ship drawn by a scholar during the late years of the Joseon dynasty is expected to shed light on mysteries surrounding the ancient warship. The turtle ship greatly helped Korean naval forces beat Japanese invaders in the late 16th century. There are few historical records to detail the actual figure of the warship other than movies or TV shows. However, an art history researcher stumbled on an unexpected scene in a collection of pictures and writings owned by a scholar during the late Joseon dynasty. Habegwon, a renowned scholar in Cholado province in the 19th century, went on a boat ride off the coast of Goryeong, Chungcheongnam-do province, in 1842 when he was in exile there. The region used to be home to a naval base of the Joseon dynasty. In a collection of artworks created by Ha and his party after the excursion, a picture drawn by the scholar features two vessels in a corner. A closer look reveals that right next to a warship, another vessel has a turtle-shaped structure on its deck. The structure clearly shows a pattern resembling the back of a turtle. There is no question that this is a turtle ship. Along with the picture, the scholar wrote an explanation saying that Chungmogongi's warship, which surreptitiously and cleverly employed the turtle, stood sideways by the water. This indicates that Ha drew the picture upon seeing a real turtle ship. A picture of the vessel can be found in a collection of Admiral Lee Sun-shin's writings published in 1795. However, Ha's picture is the only man-made work of the time. The new finding is considered significant as it suggests the turtle ship was in operation until 1842. The picture is expected to greatly help turtle ship researchers who have been suffering from the lack of historical records.